Hey guys, surprised to see me? Well, yeah, me too. Um, it seems that I uh, I spoke a little prematurely when I did my last vlog of the season a video uh, a couple weeks ago. I was basing that information on one, we were getting snowfall, and two, the farmer's almanac said that it was going to be a really yucky winter for Omaha and the Nebraska area this year, and that early, early snowfall kind of reinforced that idea in my head, so I was pretty sure that I was going to be hanging it up for the year. But it's a balmy 54 degrees today. And uh, as far as my riding gear, not much has changed from my uh, summertime styled attire. I have my liner in my jacket. I have long socks on and a long sleeve uh, t-shirt underneath my jacket. But other than that, um, it's pretty much in my normal summer configuration. When it gets a little bit colder, down in the 30s and stuff, I'll actually put long johns under my pants and go go a little bit more sophisticated in some of my some of my clothing um i have about five vlogs to do today i'm going to take advantage of this the best i can um how many of these you will see i don't know it just depends on how they turn out i hate the new honda vfr I want to say this in public during a vlog while riding a VFR. Um, I've always said that, and people that have followed my channel for a long time, I've always said in comments and, and even probably in my videos that if Honda ever made a 1000cc version of the VFR that I would be the first person buying it. I would camp out with money in hand and a tent in the parking lot of the dealership to make sure that I got the first one that that dealership got. And, you know, because my only complaint about my bike is that for open road traveling, it just doesn't have quite enough power. Everything else about it, it is perfect. But it can use, you know, 30 more horsepower, especially when I'm carrying bags and stuff. And for like, when I'm doing high speed passes and I'm passing like two or three semis, you know, it, it lacks a little bit. In a round town like this, it's perfect. There's no, no complaints at all. But for open road stuff, it, it could use a little bit more power. Well, Honda decided to do one better. They didn't do a thousand, they did a 1200. And I was so stoked. I didn't mention it, I didn't make any talks about it, I didn't want anybody to know. Because, but I was, I was just, I was happy with a, as a pig in poo. I was as happy as a, you know, I was some, happy as a puppy with two tails. They released some spy photos of it, and uh, it had some uh, like facades on it. And what I mean by that is it had, you know, fake plastic and weird duct tape and stuff, and just to kind of give you, you know, a little bit um, while it's in research and development, so you don't have an idea really what it looks like. You know, they they costume it up a little bit, and I'd seen it, and it looked pretty good. You know, from what I could see, and I, I knew that wasn't going to be the final production, so I figured it would be way better. It'd be way sweeter when they actually made it oh god dirt and gravel and mud but um they released uh, the press release about two two and a half weeks ago and the bike looks horrifying oh my god it is the ugliest thing i've seen in such a long time if you could have seen me in front of my laptop when i first opened that website you would have seen me crying my buddy Kev sent me the link to the website when they press released it. I couldn't view it um, the first time I got it because I got it on my phone and for whatever reason it just wouldn't load. So I waited a day and I got home and I got my laptop and I was totally stoked. I grabbed the, uh, the email that he sent me and I clicked on the link and if you guys could have seen me, if I would have been vlogging at that moment, you would have seen me crying. I was almost in tears. I hate that bike. It is horrifying looking. It looks like it was designed by a bunch of retards. It is an awful looking bike. It looks like something a 70 year old man would ride. The exhaust, I don't even know how to describe the exhaust. It's this flared out chrome trumpet piece of shit. 
The bike's got a headlight that looks like it's off a fucking 80s spaceship. It's just awful. And I am so disappointed in Honda, and I'm so mad at them for, for doing this to me, that I'm actually cursing to my vlog, and that's something I never do. And the, what really pisses me off the most is that, uh, you know, I've got a very, I'm very loyal to Honda, and I came really, 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 really close from to buying a brand new VFR in 2007. It was going to be just like Dan Moto's um, 07 VFR in the 25th anniversary paint scheme. I found one real, real cheap that was brand new, and I almost bought it. But what I did, I knew the rumor of the bigger VFR was coming out, so I held out. I held out, and I saved my money, and uh, then they come out with this fucking piece of shit that that I, I hate. And it's just, oh, God, I just, I just want to find the Honda factory where they came up with this idea and just, I don't know. Go all Valkyrie on that shit. It's horrible. I'm just mad. I waited. I waited to this disappointment. I feel like Charlie Brown when Lucy pulls the damn football out from under him and he falls on his ass, but he keeps on doing it. Well, that's what I think of you, Honda. You are Lucy. And I'm so pissed at you for making such a piece of shit ugly bike that, that I don't know what I'm going to do with myself. You know, I might buy myself a damn Kawasaki Concourse.